Hi and welcome everyone. Um, again, this is another video uh, about the liver, but uh, today I'm going to talk to you about the relations of the liver, the anterior relation and the posterior relation of the liver. Before um, starting with the anterior relation of the liver, let me just remind you about the uh, uh, position of the liver. You know, there is another video about the location of the liver and the surface anatomy of the liver but let me show you this is the upper border of the liver and this is the uh, lower border of the uh, liver and we know as we mentioned that the liver located inferior to the diaphragm this is the uh, sorry, this is the diaphragm almost this is the diaphragm and as you see the liver is located inferior to the um, diaphragm and you know protected by the uh, lower uh, ribs and uh, anteriorly you know you can see the costal cartilage and the water process and so forth let's go and start talking about the anterior relation of the liver first of all look for this uh, figure I will try to draw the um, liver here I'll use another pen okay so it's gonna be it's almost like that okay and it's close to this so this is a shadow of the uh, liver now let us see what the structures that's located anterior to the uh, liver first of all you see the lower these lungs right this is the right lung and this is the left lung look for the uh, lower margin of both lungs that's located anterior to the uh, uh, liver and we know that the thoracic cavity lined by uh, a parietal pleura this tough membrane is the parietal uh, pleura you see so, and we know that the parietal pleura has uh, uh, many parts, for example, mediastinal part, and there is a diaphragmatic part that's related to the diaphragm, right? So this is that diaphragm. So this part of parietal pleura is called, it's a kind of a recess in which during respiration and expiration, the lungs will move up and down in this recess and uh, indeed this recess known as costo diaphragmatic recess however either on the right or in the left so we can say that what's the structures anterior to the liver okay we have the lower part of both lungs and the right and left pleura okay what else you see on the right side there is the uh, coastal uh, cartilage and maybe the upper part from the left what else you can see there is uh, this is the shadow of the liver again and this is the cyboid process cyboid process look at the anterior to the uh, liver okay let us move laterally you see the uh, abdominal wall so and we know that the liver the inferior border of the liver extends a little bit below the costal margin this is uh, let me erase this stuff so it's gonna be clear sorry so So, the liver, you know, uh, mid uh, axillary line, it's a little bit extends below the costal margin. This is the costal margin on the right and on the left. Anyway, we talk about the right side. So, and this is the abdominal, anterior abdominal wall. So, anterior abdominal wall is, you know, related uh, anterior to the liver at the subcostal angle, right? So these are structures that's located anterior to the uh, liver. The uh, again lower margin of the both lungs and uh, right and left 
Pleura, Zyvator process, costal cartilage on the right and a little bit from the left, and anterior abdominal wall. What about the uh, posterior relation of the liver? What the structures that or organs that's located behind the liver? First of all, you can see uh, this is a posterior. Uh, this is an anterior view for the posterior abdomen, abdominal structures, and also you can see here is the uh, the first structure that uh, you know uh, seen behind obviously behind the liver is the diaphragm so the diaphragm is located behind superior and anterior to the uh, liver so now posteriorly yes there is the diaphragm this is the first thing I can see now what else you can see also because this is the shadow this is the shadow of the liver right almost almost like that right so what else other than the um, diaphragm? Yes, we have the uh, right kidney, and you know there is a right suprarenal gland. What else? Yep, we have here a right, or you know, it's known as hepatic flexure or right uh, colic flexure or hepatic flexure because it's related to the liver right and a little bit of transverse colon as well and if you just move a little bit up you will see the first part of the uh, duodenum and the uh, fundus of the stomach what else very important vein large vein which is the inferior vena cava posteriorly Again, let me also repeat them again here. What's the structures that's located behind the liver? Okay, the diaphragm and um, right kidney, right suprarenal gland above it. A little bit anteriorly, the uh, hepatic flexure and part from the transverse colon. Go a little bit up, you will see the first part of the duodenum and um, what else the uh, should be the fundus of the stomach should be here All right so the fundus of the stomach and inferior vena cava and esophagus right so these are structures that's located um, posterior to the liver Thank you for watching and uh, hope you find value in it. Thank you.